we'll spin it over with the decompression open for a start. And then we can see um, the yeah, those I'll flick them back. Um, yeah. Alright, what do you need? That sounds alright. Yes. Okay. Got the decompression in, so. Alright. Um, Am I going to crank it and you'll flick them on? Yeah, I'll flick them on and see what she does. Well, Here's the decompression up. lever. These here. Oh, okay. So I just want to flick it over and make sure there's no water in it or anything. So, yep. um, if I do that, it'll be a lot harder for it to crank yep. over. I think just looking at that shaft, I wouldn't be putting it in and out of gear. I reckon those universal joints are possibly that seized up here, eh? Down here at the, at the um, where it meets the drop shaft. Yep. You might want to pull them off and clean them up first and free up the rust. Because it might really grab as you put it in gear if you do. I'd, yeah, I'd certainly leave it running in neutral only for now. and stuff and the oil alarm works which is nice yep um do you so which part where are your parts uh, uh, should be a box oh, full of bits this, over there so these are the wrong they're oil. the right ones these are the right ones apparently yep oh so you got this from minards yep the, oh because see they're industrial as well as marine so you need one of those 
These are the ones we don't need. There should be a box. And there's a box there, is it? There's there. a box full of bloody bits and pieces here. There we go. Okay. They're the ones that you sent me. Yep, so these are the ones we're going to take back. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the Marines and all There's ones. your fuel filters. That's right. Yep, so that's correct. And there should be anodes that's in right. there. That one's right. And that should be, there should be an impeller kit. There's a gasket for the impeller kit. Yep, and that one, perfect. And the impeller kit must be down there I've still. Got that here. Oh, you've got yep. it, yep. And that looks, I'll put those up there. Yep. Okay, well, I'll put that stuff away. What I'll do. Mounting hardware. For the... See, I don't know. Really just so this filter here, that's CAV, that's your pre-filter. Yep. Once you get all your fuel lines and your tank finally hooked up, yep. you'll pay to chuck a new one of those in. Yep. And definitely. any of the truck shops will have them. So, so the whole thing or just the, just, just the just element, the filter, the this part thing. here, you undo that 11 mil bolt. There's an O-ring under here, yep. O-ring under here, here and here, and they'll come with new O-rings yep. and you just all just sandwiches together when you undo that you'll realize yep. what's how it all comes apart and there's the bleed. Put it, yeah and you just exactly i'll show you how to bleed it so i won't be doing that one today but i'll, yep. I'll change this one yep. and show you how to bleed it um if you have the big flat screwdriver we'll change this this fuel filter so and i'll show you how to, they go up pretty tight and often a screwdriver across there um does a good job So this is the secondary filter, this one's the one that's under pressure from the fuel lift pump. Once you get that down like that, just this is on the no ring, just give it a pull and it will kind of drop down like that. The filter itself will drop down into the bowl. Yeah. Yep. Get rid of that one, which has been there for a very long time. And a little wipe out. So if you pump the, um, the I'm just using the um, Yeah, so that's priming fuel system. Um, and obviously if you've changed this filter as well, thank you. You're going to have to prime it from there. Oh, it's only a prime, you're going to have to prime it. But well, no, if you open this, this has to be sealed because it's on the vacuum side. Um, if you've got an outboard fuel primer bowl where it is, you could crack that one and you could squeeze it and prime it, prime it first. Yep. Otherwise, you've got to suck all that air through the pump and out this, and push it out here. So it takes a bit longer if you've changed the So pre put one of those squeeze pumpy things in the fuel line. Yeah, like I mean, they don't recommend you do that, but in some cases, on some engines, it does make them a lot quicker to prime. And it's... Well, the tanks in here will be going back in there. Yeah, okay. So hopefully they'll be above the oh, engine. Oh, if it's above, then they should have they some should gravity feed, yeah. gravity feed, so... In theory. Yeah, it's pretty good. So you take this two bolts out yep. and drop the pump down it makes it way easier to change the impeller which is in there um,
feel better about spending money on it now. You sort of need to know, and look, the, the compression it's got, yeah, it's an old engine and that, but it's got that real good diesel ping that these have. Yep. When I remember them when I knew these motors, like the latest series of them, and they had that real diesel knock when they've got good compression. So the fact that it's got that is a good thing. A I good definitely sign. strongly recommend you do the anti-siphon. Yep. Um, as you've pointed out, that, uh, just looking, just even how, just I know the engine's not very far above waterline. It's, no, it's in my not. opinion, it's not too marginal. No, so waterline would probably be about here somewhere. Yeah, it's too marginal. If you get down in the water from rain or from a pipe leaking or something, then you're going to have trouble. Um, and you'll lose compression, which at the moment is sounding quite good, you know. But I think before you put it in gear, you need to have a look at that, those universal joints behind the engine. Yep. They look pretty corroded up to me. I think you want to have a good chip away at them and have a look at them and see if you can free them up and tidy them up a bit. Um, because I think if you put it in gear, it's going to give it a pretty hard time because I reckon they're just about seized, you know, like the, those, at the moment, those universal joints. Um, Can you maybe put it in gear and turn it over? Yeah, you could. That'd be better than doing it with the motor, you know? Yeah. Like, um, put a big socket on the front, you could do that and see if you can get it moving that way. Um, but I wouldn't just go bang and chuck it in gear and go, oh, I, you know, I broke something. Yeah, especially in the shaft there, this water will start pissing in. Exactly, that's why right. it's just <laughs> it's because spot. of the, the time it's been sitting, you just want to have a bit of a bit of care with that. Um, so it's been 12 months since it was moved. Oh, okay, so it's not too long. Okay, so I just do that, so that's got a bit of tension on that belt. You gotta regularly check the belts on these. I don't go crazy, because they've got small bearings. Yeah. Um, you know, like, if it's not slipping and it's charging, that's enough, otherwise you have heat up the bearings, you know. Um, so, this impeller's done. Um, we'll just spin that filter off and put the on. Oil, oil filter. filter. Do that before we run it up again. Okay, if you want to get one of your filters ready, if you've got it there, I'll spin this one off and we'll see. Hopefully, maybe I'll use that. It's cool. Looks similar, the o-ring face size and that. Um, thread there. Screws on. Yep, that's right. Good sign. Seems good. Just gonna take a bit of oil to fill it up. But yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty big fill for, for a little motor. She's gonna be half your sump capacity just hanging in the oil filter. It's a big filter for a small motor. It sure is. Nothing wrong with the big filter though. No. Nope. It's just going to collect more before it blocks up. But it's certainly the right thread in that, and the o ring face seemed right, so we'll check it doesn't leak. But pretty happy with how that all went. And most of the stuff you can do yourself, eh? it's pretty straightforward yep. once you get yourself set up for it, and that. That's it. Not much to I just wanted you. someone to first. Yeah, and just the, running it, they can take off and go bang on you too, so it's better if you hit. Yeah, diesels aren't easy to stop. <laughs> no, no, once they get, they really get going. Give it an overrun. Whereabouts are you coming out here? Or? Yeah, just here, yeah. at the museum here. Yeah. So, can I have a 27 Philly? Yeah. Or a 24 maybe ring spinner? I'm going to try and get this anode while this is slowly pumping out. I'm going to try and get this It's just over the full mark, and the engine oil colour is really good, um, so that's good. And the gearbox oil, I've got 
probably about 15 mil over the full mark, which I'm pretty happy with. It is going to splash around a bit more and um, and help flush that out, eh? Yep. So, like I say, when you do a couple more oil changes in it, just use whatever oil, just put it in there, and um, put it in like engine oil, basic engine oil, and just flush it. and. Um, and pump so, it out with your hand pump. How do you switch between the engine and gearbox? There's a lever underneath it, and that you just turn the lever one way or the other way. Oh, yep. And you'll know because your gear engine oil will be the clean one, and the other one will be the, the grey one. But I think it's at the moment I've got it set onto the gearbox at the moment. Right. So, um, suck that out. But yeah, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I haven't bought enough oil to keep going, but really it needs the back end freeing up. Then you can run it in gear, of course, and um, you can run it all in gear. Um, I'd like to get it going so I can take it for a pup pup down the river. And yeah, I just definitely look. That's really all, all I can see needing to do immediately before doing that is that really eh? check that universal. Get those universals working free. Make sure they're okay. Pull them apart and clean them all, and then. We'll pull them out if you need to and clean them all up and and then put them back in, give them a bit of grease or whatever. Um, I think that'd be the way to go. But you could do damage, you know, to everything if you don't do that. And you're probably gonna have a fair bit of growth on the prop. Yeah, I'd so say so. You'll need to dive over the side and clean that too before you go. Um, Mm, not looking forward to doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the rest of that to change the in the gearbox oil? Uh, or have you got your own oil? Inside? I haven't got any, so I was going to buy some off you. But okay, well, I'll leave this with you. Anyway, yep. there's only a litre left in there from what we've done today. So you the know, the same one, engine and gearbox just use the same oil. Yep, thirty yep. weight is the best. Yep, um, the fifteen forty is not as good for the gearbox. Um, so that's why if you use 30 weight in both, you're, you're pretty safe. Okay, but other than that, the motor's good. Yeah, look, she's, considering it's a bit of an unknown, she seems to be doing all right, eh? Um, oh, it's charging, the starter motor sounds healthy. Well, flow is not leaking. You've got your numbers there for your R1232P for your right, for your pre-filter when you if you do hook that up which i would it'd be good to have that hooked up it is hooked up well it is yeah i yeah. mean when you have your final yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah definitely be yeah. hooking that up yeah i want to get a separator as well um like a water trap yeah well that is that's a water trap that is a water trap yeah the water will go into that clear bowl on the bottom sort of so you've that's kind of got you sorted then i'd have a few spare filters you know yeah um of those on board is always good um, if you get bad fuel, that's the first one to block up. So, um, right. well, should we start her up again? I think it's Seacock. Yeah. Let's that up a little bit on. Let's see if it's open there. Yep, here we go. And then we will see that. Right, we'll give her a crank.
means it's got compression yeah. when they sound real soft sounding this model in particular I mean not every diesel this engine but they sound really soft I get worried because it only means that they won't start well and they've got low compression it's just a, it's a healthy direct injection to the sound that noise they make it's good it's just been run it's just below the full mark so I'd expect that to drop come back up again a bit well, I have to fill the oil filter up. So. Yeah, exactly. So it'll and it will, but it will also there's also oil in the head. It yep. will go it'll back, leak, leak down. Yeah. Leak down. So we'll leave it about there. Um, you got a bit there. You can chop up if you need to. How'd you go for it? Okay, thank you. Let's see how it's going to go. Yeah, it's the, they always go up really tight, these. That's just the colour. The piano's still good. It's still good, just give it a bit straight clean on the edge of it. So I wouldn't change that in our gear. I'd keep that one as a spare. Yep, oh yeah. Well, there's not much else to really do. I mean, the only thing you can do is give that um, gearbox, keep flushing that out, but you need to get the universals all cleaned up, I think, before you do that. Yep. It would definitely be smart to do that, get it all free and clean the prop and all that before you try, because you'll end up breaking something, I think, just for how it feels. It should be nice and free, you know. Um, but other than that, then you can run it and gear and that and stir that oil up a bit and change the gearbox oil a couple of times or maybe do one more change and then go for a little putt and then pump it out and um, and do it again kind of thing. So, so run it forward reverse here a couple of times? Yeah just to put it in out of gear or even in a stern maybe just to to pull against your mooring right but it just gets, it, gets yeah. it stirring up you know to stir the oil up. So your output shaft is turning also and pump it out and go again and yeah but yeah like she sounds healthy eh oh, but peace of mind it sounds like it must have had some work done to it in the past surely well i reckon we're pretty well it's as good as you can expect it to run eh it's um all right everyone's